This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> And welcome once again. I tell you, it is good to be back. This is the place where we are going to have some fun with art. Now, you don't have to be a great artist. We're just going to enjoy ourselves doing this sort of thing. <laughs> yes! This is Art Attack, the big art show that is going to give your eyeballs a shock. Now, if you... Excuse me. Gotcha! There's another one. That's better. A splat attack. Great fun to do and very easy. All you need is one of these cotton wool balls. And the idea is that you stick the cotton wool ball into some ink or poster paint that you've mixed with water. Now, you'll have to experiment with the consistency, but the idea is to get the cotton wool ball real soggy that should do it. And then you place it in the middle of a sheet of paper. Always a good idea to do this sort of thing outside, because it can be a bit messy. And then you choose your secret weapon, which is one of these. It's a fly swat. You can get these from your local hardware store, only about 75p. And the good thing is, is you can use it again and again. So you line up your shot and splat attack. You can even try it with two colours. Splat attack. But you know me, I like to experiment. <laughs> Splat attack! It's the head again. It's good, that, wasn't it? Uh. I'll never go at that. Uh. Fly swat. Cotton wool balls, ink. Uh. Wish I had a fly swat now, I tell you. Thanks a lot. People use the strangest things to create an art attack. Greg Erwin uses his hands.
not easy being a work of art, you know. My name's Martin McIntosh, and this is my picture, what I made out of my shape. Hello, my name's Samantha Houghton. This is the shape I use for my picture, which is up there. This is the letter of my first name. Hello, my name's Colin, and this is my shape, and this is a split pin. And if you put them together, you end up with this. Another great idea for an art attack, this time thanks to Sherwood Park Primary School. You cut a shape, any shape you like, out of a sheet of card and you use it to make a pattern. Now, you could do what Samantha there did and cut the shape of one of her initials out of a sheet of card. And that's exactly what I've done here, B. Now, the idea is that you stick your shape onto a piece of paper using one of these. This is a split pin. You can get these from stationery shops or you might have one lying around in school somewhere. And then the idea is to put your pin through the corner of your cardboard shape. Press it right through and then right through the paper. This is the bit I like. Punch it through. There it goes. And then you split the pin on the other side. Hence the name split pin. And there it is. You have your shape in position. When it's in position, you take a pencil or a pen and you draw all the way around your shape. There it goes. Right round, even in the middle. And now the good bit. This is why it's pinned in the corner. You move the shape to one side, draw right round it again, all the way round. Not forgetting the middle bits. And then do it one more time there, right round to the side. And of course, you can use any shape you like. The pattern depends on the shape you use. And you just keep going all the way round until you're back to the beginning. And there it is, you've created a pattern. Then you take your card away and colour it in any way you like. And there you have it, a split pin pattern. Of course, you can do it with any shape as long as one point is fixed in the middle. Here we go. Try it yourself, a split pin, a cardboard shape, and give yourself a split pin pattern attack. Yet again. Great idea in it, eh? Using silver paper to make a picture. Ah, oh, yeah, had a go myself actually. I made a tinfoil picture of a bottle top. How do you turn an ordinary sheet of drawing paper into some ice?
water, metal or glass using two lightly drawn lines. Try this. Now, you start off by drawing a cube, roughly the same shape as an ice cube. Get all the curly bits on the edges there. Although you don't have to draw a cube, you can try just a square. Now, I have to admit, it doesn't look much like an ice cube yet. However, two lightly drawn lines, in they go. Put another two in there, two up there, and there it is, an ice cube. So what about water? OK, well, I'll just pretend that the ice cube has melted there, and I'll draw a puddle. No, it doesn't look much like water yet. Two lightly drawn lines, one, two, one, two, and there it is, water. Now, the reason that this works is because both these things have got shiny surfaces with reflections on. And when you do a drawing, if you do two lightly drawn lines, it looks like you're shining your drawing up. So let's try the metal bar. Okay, I'll do a long bar like that. Straight edges. I'll put some rivets in. All the metal screws. And they go there like that. Now, OK, doesn't look much like a metal bar yet. Two lightly drawn lines, two up there, and there it is, a nice shiny metal bar. What about glass? Well, you normally get glass in a frame, so I'm going to draw a picture frame. There it is, on the edge, that's it, and then it goes there. And I must admit, doesn't look like glass yet, but two lightly drawn lines, and there you have it, a sheet of glass. So, OK, put all these things together and see what they look like. Now, let me bring in this chap here. What do you think he's doing? Well, it looks to me like he's waving off a ship from a dockside. But no, he isn't. To start with, he's standing on a shiny surface. Could be lino or anything. And he's polishing something. Well, let's say, for the sake of arguing, he's polishing a rather large mirror. There it is, two lightly drawn lines. And he's using some water that he's keeping in a metal bucket. There's two, two rivets in there, two lightly drawn lines. There's the metal bucket. That's also shine, standing on the shiny lino. And he's spilled some of the water. Two lightly drawn lines in there. And you know, the day is so cold that all the water he's been using has dripped down the mirror and it's formed two lightly drawn lines there icicles try it yourself two lightly drawn lines and give yourself a shiny art attack i'll see you next week ta-ra